Hi everybody. In this lesson I want to uh, talk about horizontal and vertical lines and their slopes. So first I'd like to find the slope of the line that goes through the point negative 2, 4 and negative 6, 4. So notice that that's going to give me a, a uh, horizontal line. And so if I were to find that slope <clears throat> um, that would be a, if I use the slope formula, the slope would be the, the difference of the y's divided by the difference of the x's. So that would be 0 over a negative 4, which is 0. Um, or you could go from this point, a rise of 0 and a run of 4. Um, same difference. Okay, so the uh, fact that I want to emphasize is that horizontal lines have slope 0. Now, if I wanted to find the equation of that line, <clears throat> I could think of it in terms of the slope-intercept form. And notice that the y-intercept is equal to 4. So since y is equal to mx plus b, I could just plug in y equals 0x plus 4. And the equation of this line would be y equals 4. Okay? Now, if uh, I move to uh, this next line, it goes to the point negative 2, 4, and negative 2, negative 3. Here we have a vertical line. And again, if you just think of finding the uh, slope of that using our slope formula, it'd be, uh, let's take uh, this y minus this y, 4 minus a negative 3 divided by the difference of the x's, negative 2 minus a negative 2. So that gives me 7 over 0. And remember that division by 0 is undefined. So here, the we see that vertical lines, because uh, you have the same x-coordinate, are going to have slope that's undefined. OK, now if I wanted to write the equation of this line, Notice that if I, I put it in the form y equals mx plus b, it isn't going to work, right? Because um, I don't have a y-intercept, and I also have an undefined slope. So this is the one line that <clears throat> uh, you can't write in slope-intercept form. It doesn't have a slope, it's undefined, and it doesn't have a y-intercept. So the way I want to think about it is, is maybe come back to this one up here and notice that if I were to graph y equals 4 just by making a, a table of values here, what that would mean is it doesn't matter what x is, y is always 4. If x is 0, y is 4, right? And that's that point. If x is 1, y is 4 x is 7, y is 4. So that gives me, if I plot all the infinite ordered pairs where y is 4, of course I just get this horizontal line. So in the same way, uh, I would think of this, it doesn't matter what, what uh, your y value is, your x value is always negative 2. So, so the equation here would just be x equals negative 2. So uh, again, if I wanted to uh, look, suppose I wanted to graph the line x equals 3 um, by plotting points in the same way I did up above here. Uh, this would say it doesn't matter what y is, x is always 3. So if y is 0, well, x is 3. If y is 1, x is 3. If y is negative 2, x is 3. So when I plot these, I'm going to get just a bunch of ordered pairs that are on this vertical line that goes through x equals negative 3. Okay, so <clears throat> it's fairly easy to write the equation of a horizontal or a, a uh, vertical line. If it's a vertical line that goes through x equals 3, it's just x equals 3. If it's a horizontal line that goes through y equals 4, then it's just y equals 4. Okay. <clears throat>